grew up in Tacoma Park, Maryland, right outside of Washington, D.C. I've definitely played on the playgrounds. I wasn't your quote-unquote McDonald's All-American, but at the same time, I was still patting in my crap. It wasn't like you 6'10 walking on the playground and everybody saying, wow, look at that big guy. Steve Sometimes Francis, you fight to stand out. Yes! I think I had my flair when I was born, but I probably mastered it in junior college. It's kind of a showcase for us to get ourselves to big Division I schools, and that really helped me uh, become more of a showman. I saw him quite a few times at Allegheny. Every once in a while, he'd get in a situation where he could take advantage of his physical ability, and he could turn it on. He skywalked on that one, folks, right here. Get up. There was articles written in the paper about him. Everybody knew who Steve Francis was before he was on our campus. Boy, when he got in, we, we, the hype machine got rolling. Once you get inside the Beltway, news traveled very quickly about how prolific a slam dunk artist he was. We listed him at 6'2". Uh, he might have been. <laughs> he might have been a little smaller than that. But the year he was here, there, there was nobody in college basketball that got up better than Steve. It was reminiscent of guys from my era, like David Thompson, guys who were about 6'3", 6'4", but could jump 42 inches or more off the ground. I was able to get over 43 inches. Like a kid in a candy store, it touch anything. I've seen him dunk over some people crazy. I've never seen anybody, like, come to the basket, jump, stop, and then go up and finish like Steve Francis. Oh, my! He was one of those two-footed loopers. He could really sky. And, and the fact that he was smaller made it even more impressive. Best legs I've ever coached. It's like his, his calves look like big grapefruits on the back of his legs, man. When I was growing up, I never really worked on my legs or, like, try to get stronger or anything, but it just something that happened, you know, with my genetics. Slammed it through. He was here only one year. I would have loved to have coached him two years, and I believe we won 28 games the year he was here. Being able to change in the air, being able to throw it down with some style, and I think that got him the name of one of the best dunkers in college basketball. I think just a rush of being able to get up that high, that just excites you to want to try to put on the show.